What's up YouTube? We're back with some more Fortnite and in today's video we're going to be walking you guys through of what I'm thinking during games. Please bear with me as this is my first time really live commentating an entire game of what I'm trying to do and explained why I'm doing it. So my commentary may get interrupted while trying to focus on the game as this is happening all live. I just ask you guys to please bear with me and understand. Also, be sure to let me know what you guys think of this kind of video. Let me know if you want more by dropping a comment down below. I had a couple comments requesting to do this, so I hope everyone will be able to enjoy this kind of video and learn from it. Just a quick mention, thank you guys so freaking much for 2k, you guys are literally incredible. Let's try and reach 50 likes on this video. You guys have been killing it with the thumbs up. But alright, let's get into today's video. Got someone going there. One on top of the roof, just not landed. Sheesh. There's gotta be another gun in here though. Come on man. Come on, Fortnite. Can't do me like this, Epic. Alright, I guess there isn't. We're gonna go to the brick house. Eh, let's come. Let's come to this blue house. Let's try and clear this guy out. GG's. I knew, I knew he wouldn't really be able to hit me right there. It's kind of a weird angle. Grab that pistol, that pistol, that, that submachine gun. It's tactical. Let's come over here. Just give away a free kill. Good thing our aim is not too shabby right now, though. Not too, not too shabby. Take this over the grenades. Definitely gonna be a couple more people here. I don't think there's been too much fighting going on. Yeah, we got some guy right here. We're gonna take that burst. I've, I've been loving the man the past like week or so, guys. Been loving the burst. I know there's definitely more people here. Nine confirmed people going here. There we go. Where was this guy at? Where did I get shot from? What? This dude is pretty good at hiding them. Oh, there he is. Nice. I'm glad we did not get hurt. Let's come over here in our little box. This guy's building domes. He's freaking out. That poor guy. Literally just trying to hide for his life, man. Uh, poor dude. Let's grab that. I'm gonna drop this for that. Not a fan of... Not too big of a fan on uh, grenade launchers. A little tricky to use. I'd rather carry meds over. Got any day. Definitely 
definitely came from northeast. Still, this guy's still sniping at me. No, we didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Take that. Imagine as, as soon as we edited out of that, if we just got hit by that sniper. Woo. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to like zigzag. This is what I mean, zigzag. We know he's from this way. So if we come this way and take unpredictable movements, he's really not going to be able to lead his shot. Get a good shot to lead with. Always like if you curve, if, if he's coming from the left, if he's sniping from the left and I'm curving like that, because he's expecting me to just completely walk straight, so it'll throw off his, uh, it'll, 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 it'll throw him off. Whenever we're doing such, this guy built a very high, probably could have just built up because this guy is definitely a slow builder. I have no idea what this guy's doing. Didn't really want to drop down right there because uh, you're always putting yourself at a risk whenever losing your high ground because you have such an advantage. Um, but but we hit that guy uh, a couple, couple times before, so dropping down was not too terrible of a move. My aim is just really bad right now. It's really bad. My hands are pretty, pretty sweaty because I'm a sweaty. Look, so whenever you know a guy is just gonna keep shooting your stuff. I apologize for my aims, bro. I apologize. It's actually really bad. So in this situation, since he has an RPG, we're gonna hurry up and build since someone was sniping at us. And um, in this situation, you do you don't need a double pump whenever you have an RPG. The RPG plays a role of your double pump. Definitely. So we see a guy over here. I don't know. Low builder. He's not too fast. My building isn't the best right now. It's not at its full potential. But we're still there. Still not doing bad. Right there we should have had our pump out. And as you can see my building is really sloppy right now. So I messed up trying to pump him. Uh, immediately, instead of using the rocket, kind of forgot I had a rocket. So that's what happened right there. But as you can see, I noticed my mistake and I immediately switched to my RPG. Now we're still getting sniped at from somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and use this med kit. Always build around exactly like this. Your little one by one with the cover up top. Because if someone pushes you and you don't have that top down, now you have to stop med kitting, you know? Um, whereas you could have, you know, Say if you had a, like an extra second, you could have got the med kit off. Which can really save your life a lot of the times. And now I don't want to be walking in a straight line because I know there's going to be people behind me. I know there is. I'm just on the way, you know, I want to get my mats up as much as I can. Materials is the key to survival. Really. Once you, you know, whenever you can start building. It's the key to survival. 
So we're just gonna keep doing these little zigzags so we're not like too predictable. We don't wanna be doing, running in the same line for too long. And so now when I'm building with a brick, I'm just gonna come up here uh, to see if I see anyone. Once again, my building is not the best right now. Very sloppy, I haven't really played that much in the past like day or two. But right there, the reason why I build with brick is because I have a high, uh, you know, I have a higher number of brick than uh, wood. And therefore, and wood is, you only really want to use wood for combat building. That's the really only thing you want to use wood for. That poor guy just got dropped. This guy has a sniper, so... Okay. He got naded from somewhere. I think, yeah, definitely over here. Looks like we have a raptor. Who took my kill? There we go. Figured we would have gotten. Um. Whenever you see someone isn't that good of a builder. No disrespect to this guy or anything. Whenever you can see he's not like as a very skilled builder, you know, put him under pressure like such. Just keep spamming it, man. And you know, it, it's gonna, it's really gonna fluster him. Um, and as you can see, like he just built a single wall. He didn't build a ramp behind it, so he only had one thing of protection. And once that was gone, he, um, you know, there's obviously nothing stopping him from between hit my bullets and you know connecting with him except the bloom so putting people under pressure is definitely a game changer guys definitely a game changer um you can see how uh, how good of a player is putting them under pressure and um, it can really change the game because if you know they're uh, they get flustered under pressure, um, you, you'll know you know exactly how to play it better. So since I want to be um, kind of secure this win, I'm gonna go ahead and build up. And the reason being is because I'm not really warmed up right now. This is my first game on, and my, my building is a little, it's, it's not at its full potential at all, and um, just my hands are sweaty, so I, I want to just sit back and chill, secure this dub. Um, you know, if I was, did I just hear someone? I don't think I did. But I've, if I was more, you know, uh, warmed up, I guess you could say is the correct term, I would just be running around, or, you know, whenever I'm feeling it. I would just be running around. For right now, we're just gonna go ahead and post up. And this is uh, definitely a great tip to use. As you can see, I'm like pretty much in the center. I'll probably be in this next circle. Still a good chance I might not, but um, yeah, you know, just let the people come to me. Let the people decide uh, really what you know my next move. Um, I'm just chilling back. And unfortunately, we aren't in this next circle, but that's okay. So in situations like this, when I'm really not in the circle, like I think my body, only my body might be in the circle, but that's about it in this next circle. Come talk to you. See, and I don't want to get sniped. I was just going to mention that before. Um, so look, this guy's going for the low of my bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit myself out of here. Don't want to be in the space anymore. It's not even in the next circle. And we're getting RPG. So we're going to go ahead and come out here. And just set up in the next circle. And now I never really like going through towns. Especially during late game. Um, I try to avoid it at all at all costs because in towns you have cars and stuff that'll be stopping you from building whenever in fights. So we're gonna try and see if we can post up somewhere. 
We'll go like right here. We'll destroy this bush and this bush. And we'll just set up right here. We'll build our foundation. With still. This guy still wants RTGs. So we got sniped from west, so we gotta be careful. We wanna have like pretty much the highest ground right now, so we don't really want anyone to be able to be above us. Okay, so it looks like that sniper came from right here. So let's see how he deals with the pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and RPG his base. Let's see how he deals with the pressure. I wanna be careful. And everyone's just coming from us with these snipers, dude. We never want to give ourselves a still target, especially when people know where we're at. <clears throat> I really want to find the sniper where he's at. I'm going to check for sky forts, make sure no one's in there, which they're not. I really don't know where that guy's, guy's coming from. We do have a launch pad, let's go ahead and change it to that real quick. Just in case we have to launch to someone. So this guy's just building straight out of wood. Immediately I can launch it. So I know there's action going on over here. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two walls up so I don't get sniped from somewhere else. And now he's in the storm. Let's see if he's going to make it out alive. He's looting right now. Yeah, he just died in the storm. So we put those walls up for the purpose of not getting sniped whenever peeking that guy. So someone's on this house right here and then we have someone over there. That makes three people, including myself. The circle's gonna be right there where that guy is, so we gotta go. Now that he's gonna be focused on me. He, he, he sees that guy that was pushing him from the other side. But now he's gonna be focused on me a little bit. I'm gonna see what he, how he reacts to me placing that. Let's see if we can get our launch pad going. We're gonna go for it. There's that guy that was sneaking up on him. Star rocket. We don't want to get sniped right here. Okay, we're just gonna blow this wall off. He's in here somewhere. No, he's outside. Since he launch padded, I want to make sure he doesn't come into my base. I'm gonna place those traps. No idea where he went. We're gonna leave that raw RPG. We don't want to get sniped. Hopefully, we don't get sniped. We're gonna move back and forth. We're gonna go ahead and launch pad to this guy. Let's take control of the high ground. Gonna make us, which is fun. Just send them in here. There's a slurp right there. We're gonna take these rockets. Once again, we're just building with brick, trying to save as much wood we have, even though we do have uh, max wood. Wood is very valuable. See how he does it. He deals with pressure. Now we're going to take the high ground from him. He isn't doing too bad of a job building. It's underneath.
Well, that's him right there. So as you can see, whenever playing with an RPG, guys, literally the high ground is 10 times more your best friend. 10 times more your best friend, because that's literally all you have to do right there, guys. We just heard his footsteps somewhere. We don't have too many rockets left. Circle's getting tight. We'll go ahead and blow up that house real quick. We have two rockets left that we really want to save. Okay, he's building a wood. I hear him underneath us. So this is what we're gonna do. We're still clear. He might be one more below us. I'm checking before I'm dropping. These aren't my walls, so I can't really... He's outside now. He's not in there anymore. We're really sloppy right now. Still, guys. This is still our first game one. Still want to be a watch out for him sniping us. Don't want him to get that lucky headshot. And now we only have one rocket left that we have to make out. We're gonna go ahead and drop down, see if this guy has any rockets. We're gonna be careful, we're, we're gonna trust in our building. To see if he uh, gets us, you know what I'm saying, if he's down here. I don't think he is. There he is. So once again, high ground, RPG. Finish him off with shotgun. And that's that, guys. This video was a entire live commentary, still is, um, trying to take you guys of what's going on through my mind, what I'm thinking during games. Um, I kind of thought of this video on the fly, kind of improvised, um, but I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Wipe the plug nose, call me Kleenex, finesse them the low, he drunk, he sees